Welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Can you guess what this is? It's the Christmas Mystery Package Swap. There are three wrapped items that we have to use and the rest is up to our discretion, but it has to be Christmas. So anything in this box has to be turned into something Christmas so excited. I'm going to leave Brenda's link in my description box below as well as a link to the person I sent my box to in our entire list. There are 14 creators in this list guys and it's just going to go around and around. You hit the link to my next person and then they will have the link to the person they sent theirs to and so on and so forth. Okay, here goes. I'm excited. On the end of this box, it says open at this end, okay? And it says have fun and don't hate me, Brenda. I could never hate you. You're a precious friend. Never. Okay, guys, let's see. I'm opening it now. You can see for the first time. I have this knife my husband got me, so this will work great. Oh, I'm so excited. This is my first mystery box challenge of any sort and the first time I've co-hosted so excited to be doing so thank you so much Brenda all right let's see oh boy oh boy okay this is what it looks like it's like open from this end this is what it looks like okay oh boy and remember the items that are wrapped we must use I am going to turn it over this way though okay I got a tea figured I might need it Hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Here's a note. Oh, I'm scared to open it. Oh. oh boy. Surprise. Here are your mystery items. As talented as you are, aw, I'm sure you won't have any trouble turning these into something amazing. I can't wait to see what you make with everything. The candy is just a treat. Aw, and apology. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. For you while you craft. Have fun. Brenda, a.k.a. Minor. Thank you, Brenda. Oh, oh, boy. Here goes. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Are they all wrapped or is this just the... Okay, let me, let me do this one first. Okay. Okay. Let me see if the ones... I'm not sure, guys. The ones that are wrapped, we're supposed to have to craft with. So, okay, let me see. I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. Okay, let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. A dog toy. Oh, boy. Hmm. I kind of already have an idea for this. Okay, we can do this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put this one over here because we have to do this one. Okay. Now this is another one we have to do. It's wrapped. Oh, look how pretty. Aw, okay. Let's see, guys. Oh, it fell off. I'm going to put this right over here and look at it as a reminder. Okay. Mesh strainers. Okay. I have an idea for this as well. This is pretty cool. We can do this one too. It's going to take me a minute, Brenda. <laughs> but we'll grab it. All right. This is cool. Really, really cool. Okay, those are my half two items. All right, let's see. Let's do this. Oh, these are so pretty to look at. You guys, this is so cute. She has everything wrapped so pretty. Okay, this is my next half two. Okay, I'm going to keep these. I might use them. Right. Oh, boy. 
This is why it was heavy. Oh, oh another doggy toy. Oh boy. Okay. This is good. This is real good. This is, I'm going to think a minute on this. This is really good though. I like this a lot. Okay. So those are my three must create with. Okay. Have to create with those three. All right. Now, let's see what else is in here. Oh, okay. A pick. We can work with this. This is so cute. One of the bows must have fallen off. I love this. This is beautiful. Okay. Oh, my word. Oh, okay. A candlestick holder. Yeah. A candle pedestal. Yeah. This will work. I like this. Okay, Brenda. That, that's beautiful. Okay. Now, aw, thank you, sweet girl. She sent me some chocolate. Aw, I'll definitely be munching on this, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them dog toys. This is awesome. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. I've wanted one of these. This is cool. A little chalkboard. I like that a lot. All right. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Good, good. All right. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this is beautiful. One of the galvanized stars. This is, thank you. This is cool. Love it. Oh, this box is packed. Wow. Okay, let's see. Oh, jute twine. Yay. Love it. I love it. All right. Let's see. Oh, another galvanized heart. This is beautiful. How cool. Thank you so much, friend. I can do so much with these things. Oh, and the pearls. You've seen me use these in just a previous project just a couple couple uh, weeks ago, I think. This is awesome. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is so cool. A tiered tray. This is awesome. A tiered tray. Well, I didn't just say what I wanted to make with this, huh? <laughs> this um, cake plate. Oh, this is so cool. Love it. Awesome, awesome. All right. And some book rings. Hmm. Hmm. Book rings. I like these. Okay. Let's see what we can do with that. And oh, some ornament filler. This is really cool. All right. Love it. And, oh, wow, this is really cool. Happy haunting, but that's okay. We can make something out of this, too. This is really, really cool. Awesome, awesome. And, oh, oh, my goodness, the galvanized welcome. Oh, thank you, Brenda. This is cool. This is cool. I like that a lot. All right. And the farmhouse calendar. This is cool. Love it. Oh, boy. Okay. I better be opening up this chocolate and get this noggin to thinking. Oh, my goodness. I have some ideas. And for DIY number one, I'll be using this dog toy, which is a like tennis balls put together. And the mesh strainer okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this christmas sock that i got at the dollar tree i'm going to put the dog toy right down into the christmas sock it's kind of crooked <laughs> okay let's get it right there there we go I'm going to tie this off with a rubber band. Just like so.
cutting the excess off. Okay. Let's see what that's going to look like. Okay, we don't even need this probably. No, nope, we're not going to need that. Okay. So what we're going to do now is take the excess sock. Like so. So go over like this. Like this. You want to still have access to your hat. Okay. You guys probably already know, knowing me, where I'm going with this, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to take another rubber band. We're going to put some cute things around this. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to make this cut some notches in this to make it real frilly. Okay. Just like so. going to take a piece of that jute twine that Brenda sent me and we're going to go right here. I'm just going to tie a bow just like so. Clip it like that. Okay. Cute little hat. Now I've cut out a beard from a faux fur I have on hand, okay, and we're going to glue that beard. I want to make sure where I want his front to be here, and we're going to glue that beard right to the body, okay? Just some hot glue. Just like so. We're going to take this beard and we're going to go just like so. Just like that. I'm going to make sure his beard's nice and combed out. Nice and stuck to the body of the dog toy. <laughs> okay. Now for the nose. I have a little bead that I actually got off Amazon. And I'm just going to glue that right to his nose. Or right to his beard. Right to his nose. Just like so. There's that guy so far. Okay, now using the pick that was in my mystery package, I'm going to cut off a spray. This is so pretty. Alright. Like so. Okay. Put some on there just like so, just like that. Okay. Cut just a little bit of the frosted berry sprig from my stash so I can lay that right here for some color. Okay, so I'm just going to hot glue that right here just for some color. Okay. Now, I also have this little basket that I'm going to take, and I'm just going to cut a little bit out of the center of this basket to where this will fit right down in it, just like so. I want it nice and snug in there. Okay, just like that. What we're going to do, we're going to glue our gnome to the strainer. So he'll have a place to sit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this up. 
get it all nice and glued up here. Okay. There we go. Awesome. He's going to sit just like that. Now, Okay, so here he is. Here's our gnome. We just have to put our hat on him. That, in this little package that I found in my stash, it's just a wee little package that was on a wreath that I purchased. Okay, so we're going to set this right down here by our Santa, right there. And also, we're going to put this wee poinsettia right here, right there, just to add to the little gnome hat. Okay, there you go. All right. And I always tell you guys that gnomes are versatile to make. So this gnome is made with my mystery item number one and two. It's with our sink strainers and our dog toy. We're going to put the hat right on like that. You can glue the hat if you want to or... You can leave it as is. And there he is. I think he turned out adorable. There he is, guys. Thank you, Brenda. That was super, super fun. Now, what to do with this? All right, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. For our third and final mystery item, which is another dog toy. Okay, I have to make this into something. Okay, guys, I think I have an idea. So here we go. The chalk paint wasn't cutting it, guys. So I went out and sprayed it with the Rust-Oleum two times. And I got extra in this, 25% bonus. I'm so glad I did. This is my go-to paint. Um, I got the chalk paint all over. But anyway, we have our ball painted. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to be using this um, candlestick holder that Brenda from Miner's Market sent me in my mystery Christmas package. I love this, actually. But what I'm going to do is a little bit different. We're going to take some of the gold paint. Now, this is the brushed metal in gold. It's by Folk Art, which is a plaid product. Okay, I'm going to put some paint out. And we're going to actually dry brush a little bit of this gold paint. You guys know how I dry brush. I'm going to wipe three quarters of it back on the napkin before I start. I'm not sure how I'm going to like this. We're going to find out. I think I'm going to like this. Okay. I'm just going very, very lightly, very lightly, barely even touching it. Okay. And guys, I will have the entire list of ladies all 14 of our links listed down below as well as the link so you can go and see who i sent my box to all right let's get a little more here just a wee bit more that is really really pretty guys it makes it look vintage and i'm really really liking that Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Okay, just like so. I love that look. Very, very pretty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna let that dry. Now, I am gonna put a bit of that look on our sphere. We're gonna call this our sphere. Okay, gonna take it just like so. Okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try to go in the way the sphere is going, okay? There we go. Just very lightly, very, very lightly. All right, just gold, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna put flowers where these spots are. Now guys, this is a regular tennis ball down in there. That's that's straight up tennis ball, and they just put the rubber around it. 
okay so i'm hoping this hot glue will adhere good to this all right here goes hot glue an abundance of it flour Okay, here's this one here. This is gorgeous, very pretty. It's always real pretty. Now this was in my stash, guys. And I'm, okay, just like that. I'm just gonna adhere this to the center of this and really press hard to until that hot glue sets. The sphere is beautiful. That's probably only the third time that I've ever, maybe the fourth time I've ever spray painted. Um, I've had that up there. My husband actually got it for me. Okay, now we're going to turn this around and we're going to glue some more. Okay. In all our little spots. Now, I realize I'm covering up the gold that I did on the sphere itself. But guys, it just looked better this way. It looked kind of empty if I don't fill it all the way in. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this a sphere and we're going to do it all the way like a topiary. Okay, we'll do a Christmas topiary out of a dog toy. There we go. All right, so I'm going to fill in the parts that really look empty and blank, guys. Just like so. Just like that okay and we'll be right back okay friends and there we have it I have the last of my mystery challenge items done this is the dog toy and what I did was I just turned it into a topiary and I used the candle base that I was sent as well and I think this turned out absolutely beautiful I love the way this turned out so pretty and I did spray paint it basically for nothing guys I didn't have to spray paint it but I just I went over it anyway and I just think this turned out so pretty it's so festive it'll look great on any holiday table love this all right guys and on to DIY number three okay and for our third DIY today I'm so excited Brenda sent me this chalkboard and she sent me this welcome sign and this is really some compacted wood guys I really really love this and I'm gonna put it across like this I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this when I seen it so here's what we're gonna do guys I'm gonna tell you what I'm using then I'm gonna tell you a story um I'm using antique wax by Waverly and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the chalkboard frame Okay, just like so. And I'm going to try not to get it on the chalkboard. Then I'm going to wipe it right off. Okay, as I'm telling you this story. Okay, the reason I'm making this, I knew I wanted to do something like this when I knew that Brenda was sending me my package. Because, <clears throat> okay, I don't want to get emotional. I had been talking to Brenda, and Brenda said that she had never seen snow. <clears throat> okay because she's born and raised in Florida. Now, a snowfall, that is, okay? One of the most amazing things, and one of the reasons I would never want to leave Michigan is because, oh my gosh, you guys, there are nights when you can go out during a snowstorm, during just a beautiful snowfall, and you can actually hear the droplets because it's so peaceful and surreal. And I'm actually going to send her footage of some snowfall. And I hope we get a great big storm so I can send it to her because it's so pretty. You can literally, and it's cold, and you know, you get a little frosty nose like they say in the songs and things, and um, it's just beautiful, just beautiful. I love and very proud of my state of Michigan, so pretty, pretty snowfall. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stain this, and we'll be right back. So now we're going to take some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and put it on this gorgeous, gorgeous sign. This is so pretty. Okay, and you'd think, oh, it's gonna be easy peasy to paint, but I can tell you right now it's not gonna be because it keeps going down in the crevices. 
Okay, I can see the challenge there for sure. All right. I'm going to go ahead and this is going to take two coats. I can tell that as well. I'm going to get two coats put on this and we'll be right back. And we're doing the exact same thing with our snowflake. DIY number two, we're going to be using the dry brush method. I'm going to be using the brushed metal again in the color silver this time. And I'm just going to take it and I have another fan brush here. I'm going to go just very gently into my paint. That is the folk art paint, by the way. And we're just going to gently brush over this, barely just wisping it, just barely touching it, guys. Just barely, barely touching it. Okay. Now I could put a whole bunch of glitter on this snowflake and things like that, but I just don't see a reason to do that. I, I just, I like it like it is, and I'm going to put a little bit of the silver on, and we're going to call this a finished DIY. It'll have the same effect, and it's just so beautiful. We are going to put a gemstone from the Dollar Tree in the center just to give it some pop. Okay. There we go. And guys, to cover up the hole, I put some masking tape down and just taped right over it, and you can't even tell. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to adhere this. Okay, I want to adhere it just like this. We're going to do our snowflake first, like so, right at the bottom, just like that. I'm going to glue, hot glue our snowflake right to our chalkboard, just like so. Have one on each little snowflake. Now these are fragile, guys. These are very fragile. These are from last year at the Dollar Tree. These are a very fragile thing. Okay, I'm going to stick that right on there, just like so. Kind of sticks right away because the chalkboard is cold and the glue is warm. And I can actually, this is how fragile this um, complied wood is. I can actually feel the warmth of the glue through the piece. Okay, so we did that. It was getting away from me there. All right, now I want to go ahead and I want to put a gem on that because I want it to have some real good sparkle. So I'm going to cut it right off this from the Dollar Tree, guys. Right off one of those uh, gem, what do you call it, guys? Um, gem sheets. Yeah, okay. I am going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the back of this. Just a dot right in the center. Okay, just like so. I'm going to center it on my snowflake. And there we go. Just like so. Okay, that's beautiful. Now, do we want our welcome sign to go across? No. I like it better on a slant, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put some glue down here. Hot glue. Okay, you can use wood glue as well. And some glue down here. I see a great big glue string. Yay. Okay, I'm going to go just like this and this. And I love this. I love the way this turned out, guys. It's just so cute. Okay, and we can go ahead and we can put a little embellishment here or down here if we wanted to. But guys, I think this speaks for itself and I love it just as is. I hope you like it too. Okay, DIY number four. Guys, and again, for DIY number four, we're going to make it simple and easy. I'm going to use the decorative cake plate that Brenda sent me. Okay, now i got to do something, though, and I'm going to use this beverage glass. Okay, now, hmm, it does look good like that, but would it mess up the things I want to put on here. I'm trying to decide if I want it like that or if we want it like that. Hmm. Gosh, I think I like the original way better. That. Yeah, we're going to use it the original way, guys. Okay, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to take some hot glue in case we ever want to change this up in the future, and I'm going to put it around the center ring right here. This is so simple, guys. We're going to make this look so festive. Okay, just like that. Hot glue will come off, guys. It just will. 
So we're going to set it right like that. And when this cools and things like that, I'll be able to take my heat gun to it and just remove it. For now, let's fill our glass. Okay, we're going to set that just like that. I'm going to put some pears in. You guys may have seen me use these pears in the past. I'm just going to put some pears in here. You could put little small anything in here. Anything that will fit you can put in here, guys. And then I'm simply just going to turn this over like so. There we go. Around the stem of this glass, just like so. Super, super simple, guys. Super simple. And so pretty. Super, super festive. Okay, I am going to trim the ends down like so on an angle. Don't like that angle. There we go. Now, and if you wanted to, you could put a gold poinsettia in the center of your bow, anything that you wanted to dress this up. I think this is just adorable. Serve cookies on anything this is so cute and it will look great at any holiday venue okay on to diy number five diy number five i'm going to try to use this halloween sign that brenda sent me and actually this just popped right off guys i didn't even have to have any effort whatsoever i just popped that puppy right off there all right now we're gonna take this off like this and I love these strings they're just the you know strings that are easy okay now we're gonna cover this back up because I'm not gonna be using the back I want to cover that right up this sign up I'm gonna use some of the permanent vinyl paper that I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, now this is like a, a peach or pinkish color. It's pretty for Christmas, I think. December. There it is right there okay this is gorgeous this is absolutely beautiful and we're going to make this work okay I've taken and I've taken a pencil. I've taken my big stick is what I call it, guys. This is from Dollar Tree. This is a piece of that wood. I've had this for a couple years now, and I just make my shiplap marks with it. All right, now I've cut out around the calendar, and I did just do a regular cutout, guys. Um, I didn't want to get my water pen out or whatnot. I don't like sharp edges when you cut out things, though. It just makes it look too choppy. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put some Mod Podge down. Just like so. Okay. Let me turn it over. I'm going to place it. And guys, it does not matter. I do want the jar up on here. Any that's hanging over the sides, do not worry about it. That is just fine. Sticking up like on the sides or anything, we can just fix that right up. Okay. Just like so. And we are going to go along the sides now. A little bit of Mod Podge. Right here, like so. Just stick it to the back of our paper, like that. Let's get this stuck down, guys. Just like so. Okay. We're going to do a technique I come up with last year. And I've gotten so many compliments on it, guys. And I just, I love doing it. I love using it, so... Hopefully, it doesn't always turn out with certain pieces, so I'm hoping it does with this one. It's pretty cool. 
You definitely need fresh antique wax from Waverly, though. What I mean by fresh is it's, if it's been sitting around a while, you might want a dilutive spell. But, okay, now I'm going to go ahead, this down right here, okay, just like so. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my sandpaper and I'm going to go around the edge of this. Excuse the noise, guys, just like that, okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and here we go with our Waverly. Okay, we're going to go just like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is while it's still nice and wet, we're going to come back and we're going to wipe that right off. And we're going to lift up each time. Each time you wipe this off, guys, you want to lift straight up. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. This is going to give that that vintage appeal, guys. It's worth it in the end. Okay. Lifting up. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put a hanger on this. And we're going to call this a finished project. I do not think we're going to put a bow. We might put a little jute twine bow right there. That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's get that accomplished real quick. And we're going to call this a finished DIY. And I want to thank everyone for joining me today. If you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell right next to your subscription. And you'll be notified each time I upload new video. All right, guys. There we go. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. It helps my channel grow so much. All right. There we go. Let's put this little bow right here. All right. And maybe let's put a little poinsettia or a little piece of berry up there. Be really awesome as well. I want to thank everyone for joining me today. Thank you, Brenda, for an awesome mystery swap box. Loved it. I had so much fun creating this, and I hope I did it justice for you. Thank you for the chocolate, too. It was delicious. Also, don't forget, go check out the other creators in this challenge. There were 14 of us all together. It's been a blast. It's been so much fun working with you guys. And I want to tell everyone, my subscribers and everyone, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and the happiest of New Year's to you. Thank you so much for all your love and support throughout the last year. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.